COVID-19 Explained. Ask me the questions that you've always been thinking of. If you're having symptoms like a flu or feeling unwell, and your doctor recommends you go for a swab test, you can have it done for free at the public health preparedness clinics, the regional screening centres, and all government polyclinics. It's a simple swab test through the nose, takes less than 10 seconds for it to be completed. I've done it twice in the last two weeks. You will imagine it's probably similar to this swab stick that you use at home, but actually it is much thinner than the cotton buds that you normally use. When we first started, it was introduced about this deep, but nowadays it only goes in that far, slightly more than where your fingers normally can reach. The only discomfort you feel will be like wanting to sneeze, but in the 10 seconds before you can even sneeze, the test is finished, it's done. So do not be afraid. Go for the swab test when your doctor recommends you do it. The rule is that once we get out of the house, we should put on a mask. Treat it as part of your wardrobe because it protects you and protects others as well. If you are walking very briskly and you start to feel breathless, it's probably alright to take the mask off for a short period of time. But once you feel comfortable, you should put it back on to maintain the protection. Some elderly find that it's quite difficult to do strenuous exercises and sometimes when they go out for a stroll or a walk, they tend to feel breathless. And I think in that case, for their own safety, it's probably alright to let the mask off for a little while. But again, remember, the protection must be on at all times if you are not feeling breathless. The virus spreads most effectively when the three Vs coincide. Vocalisation, which is about talking, singing without your mask on. You're spreading aerosols and droplets into the air. The next V is the volume of interaction. When people come close together, spend a long time together talking to one another. The final V is the venue, the type of settings where people come together. Places like restaurants, pubs, nightclubs, where people interact in close proximity. So when the three Vs come together, it is a super spreader event and the virus can spread very effectively. That's why we recommend that in a restaurant setting, the group size should be kept small, you should sit further apart, and you should put on your mask when you finish eating. One infected COVID-19 patient can easily spread to two or more. So that's why it's important for us to keep our social circles as small as possible and as constant as possible. Do not go from small groups to small groups. If you're not careful, one case becomes 10, 10 becomes 100. And very soon, we will have an explosion of cases within the community. The Safe Entry app helps us to identify where you are at each point in time. Where the Trace Together token helps us to identify who you have been interacting closely with in that location so that if there is a positive case, we can quickly trace the infected, quarantine them, keep the case numbers low and keep the community safe. So let us all do the responsible thing, download the Trace Together app, carry your Trace Together token and use the safe entry QR codes. I want to reassure everyone that the number of imported cases are only a very, very small percentage of all travellers entering Singapore. So we have a very strict protocol of pre-departure testing, on-arrival testing, and quarantining and isolation of the imported cases. We need to safely reopen our borders to facilitate the return of residents into Singapore to be with their families. We also need to minimise the impact of COVID-19 on our economy, our businesses, and our workers.